Hello everybody, it's Clash's Gut here today with another video on how to make an Angry Birds styled launcher game in Scratch. So, let's start by going into the costumes of our cat sprite and let's go and just delete the costume too. So, let's go in here and we want to basically just delete the lower body of our cat. And let's go up and let's click on the head. We have to click ungroup. So, then go and delete the whiskers. Now, let's group it again and make sure to center your cat. Okay, so, we can name this, uh, let's just go flying cat. Okay, now, when clicked, forever we want to be a bit smaller so let's just set the size to 35 and of course we need to clear graphic effects we want it to be down here somewhere so let's just drag in a go to x negative 170 y negative 130 okay now let's go and delete the my variable variable and let's make a variable called power and it's a for all sprites variable let's go and make a variable x for this sprite only make a variable y for this sprite only and make a variable gravity and of course for this sprite only so we don't want to show any of them we want to set our power to drag out out a divided sign and the distance to mouse pointer divided by 16 so if mouse down then we want it to point towards mouse pointer and up here let's drag in a point towards mouse pointer we want to set the gravity to let's go negative one and we have to set the x and y so change that to set x and that to set y and drag out a two multiplication signs and two divisions okay so what we want to do here is put in power here and what we want to do is Actually, we want to be two ABS and put them in here. And oops, let's just stop that now. We want to change the first one to a sine and the second one to cosine. So we want to do the cosine and the sine of our cat's direction. Multiplied by our power. Okay, so let's go in and paint a new sprite. And let's select our square tool and we don't want a fill but we do want an outline and make it a black outline and let's just change the thickness to let's say 20 okay and go in and make a kind of border and make sure to center it and of course we want to go to zero zero so back to our flying cat we want to repeat until we are touching the sprite one which is our border and we have to put this in here we want to drag out a change x and a change y and we want to change x by x change y by y we want to change our y variable by our gravity and we want to set our x variable drag out x we want to drag out a multiplication sign and we want to set the x to x multiplied by 0 0.98 and finally we want it to turn drag out a multiplication and we want to turn the sign of its direction multiplied by four degrees and then once this stops which means it's hit the edge we want to just kind of fade away so we want to repeat 10 change ghost effect 
by ten, which just makes it kind of fade out. And want to obviously go to original position, duplicate that again, and change ghost effect by negative ten, and slot that in here. Don't forget to save your project. So let's go full screen and see how this works. As you can see, we have our cat here, and it points towards my mouse point. When I click, it will shoot. Notice that when I go closer, the power is very small. When I start moving further away, the power gets bigger, bigger, and bigger. If you can see, if I move all the way down here, the power is very big. And as you can see, the head is kind of turning. And you can shoot it backwards, you can shoot it forwards, and really cool. So, now let's make an aim. So, first of all, let's duplicate our flying cat. And let's go into the costumes, and we want to paint a new costume. And we don't want an outline, and we want a bright red fill. So, zoom in and hold down this shift while making this circle to make a perfect circle. So, let's see... Okay, so don't forget to center it, of course. Now I have to make some changes to the code. So, let's just drag all of this out, but don't delete it. Just keep it there. And we want to click on the little plus down here, which is an add extension, and add the pen extension. So, erase all when clicked, and we want to clear graphic effects at the start, and set size to 100. Okay, so now let's go make a new variable and call this variable show trajectory. So just show traj. And for all sprites, let's go into our cat. And in here, we want to set our show trajectory to yes. And when the mouse down, we want to set the show trajectory to no. Okay, let's rename that our aim. Let's say if our show trajectory equals yes, then we want to show. And we want to point towards mouse pointer and go to our flying cat. Okay, so drag out these three blocks and slot them in here and drag out an erase all and we want to go and make our own block and call this draw trajectory and make sure it is run without screen refresh so we can put our tra draw trajectory into here okay now let's define our draw trajectory all you have to do really is to put this into here and also a stamp so let's try now we have a very cool aim, however, it is a bit too big, so let's go and set the size to 40, see how that works. Yep, as you can see, we have a very, very cool aim. As you can see, our cat will follow the aim perfectly, so this just gives us a kind of gauge at where it will be flying and how it will be flying. And it is very very accurate and it is very very fast and it is very very cool so let's go into our aim and we can get rid of all of this excess code that we don't need okay so let's see that is looking very very cool but once the cat is flying we want to just erase this so go into events and drag out an if else so if show trajectory equals yes, then we want to do this. Else, we want to just hide and erase all. So let's see. Now, of course, we still have our aim, but when we shoot, the aim will just disappear. And when we come back, come back again, our aim will still be there, which is very cool. So let's go into our sprite one, and let's just name this our border which is what it really is and let's go to the code and when clicked forever just simply go to zero zero and go to front layer so that really won't change anything 
but we have a little little problem here so all we want to do is we just go there and just get rid of that code for now and see what happens okay so our thing is getting very very slow because of a little problem here so let's see what's wrong and it is our aim that is causing that problem if i just move that code down our cat can still fly perfectly well so what we want to do now is let's go into our border and let's make this a bit smaller but make sure of course to center it and as you can see now this works perfectly well so now we can go and change the thickness instead of its size to make it bigger and now let's see it works perfectly well so don't change its size but change its thickness and as you see it is very cool and it works so let's go into our code and yep looks like everything is looking pretty good it's gonna test this again yep works I shoot it out it comes back to my original position looking looking very very good so that is it for this video and thank you for watching stay in tune for part two because this is only part one please leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you thanks for watching again and see you next time